You don't have to be lonely this Valentine's Day, as long as you're tuned in to Hot Dog Network. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Valentine's Day. Anyone want to be my date? If, um, hit me up. For lunch today, lines one and two will have chicken nuggets and grilled cheese. Line three will be closed. Line four, soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. And line five, Big Daddy Pizza. A happy birthday today goes out to Ozzy Mondragon, Noel Mora, and Nelson Santos. Now to weather with Mo. We're currently sitting at 36 degrees. We'll get up to 46, then drop back down to 44. Later today, there will be drizzle in this hizzle. Faux shizzle. I apologize. The pun was irresistible. Guys, take it back before I utter another snoopism. Thanks, Mo. Oryx community to Peyton in room 303 today. Tomorrow, students will be voting for homecoming court using a Google form. You will receive a link via your school email account. The link will only be available during the school day tomorrow. February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. You are not alone. If you are a young person in an abusive relationship, talk with a peer advocate. Text LOVE IS to 22522. Today, during community, carnations will be, will be passed out by Youth Rise. Battle of the Books is tomorrow at 5.30. Meet in the cafeteria for the pizza and the ba battle follows. It should be over around 8. There will be a lost and found table set up across from the bookstore in the main entrance hallway today and tomorrow. If you happen to find my motivation, let me know. The final deadline to order your cap and gown from Herf Jones is tomorrow. Don't forget. On Saturday, we will be honoring the first class of FHS alumni into the Hall of Fame. We would love for you to join us at 2 p.m. for the ceremony and also spread the word to family, friends, and past FHS alums. If you need a purple shirt, purple shirt for Thursday's Purple Spirit Day, the bookstore has knockout sarcoma shirts for $10. Stop by the bookstore or contact Mrs. Jamison or Mrs. Rushton if you are interested in purchasing one. Beginning February 28th, freshman orders for class rings will be taken during lunch. The Andy Scholarship is still available for grades 7 through 11. The deadline to sign up is March 2nd. Also, the FEF General Scholarship deadline to sign up is this Saturday. For more information, go to frankforteducationfoundation.org. Now to sports with Maddie. The boys varsity basketball team came up with a huge home win over Hamilton Heights by the score of 58-57. The team came out and had a tremendous third quarter on both ends. They outscored Heights 20-11 and took a three-point lead into the fourth. The team found themselves down one with 10 seconds to go when Malik rebounded his own show and tipped it in to take the lead with .8 seconds remaining. Jose Valdez Sandoval and Jace Moore brought great energy off the bench. The JV team fell by the score of 54 to 69. The team went into the half up 32 to 28, but couldn't manage to get stops in the third quarter or take care of the basketball for the duration of the second half. Braden Compton was highly efficient, scoring 13 points on only six shots. Roger Angelus was tremendous on the defensive end, rebounding and diving on loose balls, securing extra possessions. The team is back in action this weekend when they host Southmont on Friday and tipped in on Saturday. That's it for sports, now back to the studio. A couple of final announcements. Tomorrow is Purple Day, so make sure to wear purple. See you tomorrow. To the top, I'm on my way. Chasing walk, that's every day. She won my 